Okay, and welcome back everybody here to the road to the major. This is the Open Qualifiers win. We're following Team Empire and see if they can take it all the way through here. This is the turf ma uh, third match I have to play today, and it's gonna be against Chernaya Loshatka. I'm most likely gonna pronounce it completely wrong, so let's just see how it goes in that side. So far, Team Empire has been able to get Radiant throughout all their series so far, and uh, they're again on it now. Perfect win rate in that one, always winning of course, so uh, let's see how it goes now. They're able to pick up the Night Stalker and Bane again. Uh, they got the exact same combination in game one. They threw it on the, on the enemy save lane and they were able to completely dominate with it. Now, there are some different picks in the Gyrocopter there. We haven't seen that in that game. They did have a Dazzle though and it didn't really work out. Uh, so far the bans for uh, Chennaiya are uh, the Bounty Hunter. Earthshaker, Shadow Fiend, Ember Spirit, Team Empire, so far Darkseer, Queen of Pain, Tusk. Nothing really out of the ordinary. Banning a Shadow Fiend while the enemy is on on Radiant is just a fairly common ban. So there's nothing too special in that sense. Uh, Team Empire is thinking pretty long about the ban here. Um, yeah, what don't they really want to go against? They don't want to have them uh, to have to give the enemy too strong of a Safe lane, so maybe get a crowd control support out of there. Many are left. Um, for them, they will most likely pick up uh, Team Empire, another Rubik. They've been running that well through the entire day, actually. Hasn't really, you know, set a mech. Has always been strong here, low dance is really strong in it as well. Might see the disruption for them coming out any of the games as well. Low dance is just so strong in that hero. Chernaya, I don't know them. Their team tech is 4L. Maybe Chernaya means 4? Hmm. Well, we don't know yet, so uh, let's just leave it at that. Is team Empire, are they deceit or something? No. Why the other thing is long about the man? 30 seconds? They've been out of Clockwork and straight into Doom. Yeah, that's a hero that we see come back every single game as well. It's The hero is just so strong at the moment with the Scorched Earth uh, update. It's, we'll see if it actually becomes flavor more or if it's actually going to be a, a pick that happens all the time. It's really... You know, it used to be values like way, way back. It used to be values so much. But now it's... It has uh, seen a big, big decline. And now, But now, finally, it's going to come back into the professional scene. All the teams are pretty much picking it up. Ten. So they're kind of running the same lineup as the first game here. They're not gonna get the exact same one though because uh, the Shadow Fiend has been banned. But maybe they can pick up the TA themselves. Nah, no, it's not that good for the Gyrocopter. Never mind that as well as there's a poison to shield. stop it. It's for, okay, they're gonna go for the Spear Break here. Maybe you want to have a fairly strong mid hero here that's able to get out of it. Yeah, what's in the pool for that? Like, a lot of things are being run in mid right now, so... The TA is, of course, in there. We... What else do we see? I mean, I have a little bit of a black. <laughs> that one... Yeah, we'll see what they go there. Ten seconds. Spear break. We might see darks. No, it's bent out. Just looking for the annoying combinations. Maybe we'll see a Lich coming out for Team Empire. Just have the Doom Lich there as well. But most likely, realistically speaking, it's going to be another Rubik or something along those lines for a lower dance. Disruptor would work now as well. Just clips back to the spear break. You want to go for somebody if they try and get extra men in the team fight through TP, just TP him back as well. There's a lot of options in that one. It's actually gonna go for the TA what I said first. Dire team pick. There is more than enough armor at the moment on the 4L side as well as HP. You know, Weave is able to just uh, take away the melt strike uh, minus armor. If they're not being completely overrun again, because Team Umpire is just setting up for an early aggression already. TA, can, if she, she snowballs, there's not really a whole lot you can do to stop it. And you can just leave Doom in the back lines again to farm it all up. Leaves a question on four, how 4L are going to answer to this. Having picked up a TA, and they're not that many strong mid lanes anymore. Maybe pick up a 5, which is of the corrosive game. will also take away the, uh, the damage. Uh, a sport, Jakiro is still in the pool. Ogre Magi as well. Those two heroes saw a big influx in like the first two days of this patch, and now falling off a little bit more. Let's 
against Team Empire. Yeah, they're, they're gonna pick up either the Disruptor or Rubik in the second and last pick for Aloha Dances. So much is obvious again. So there's not really a lot to go in there for Elia. What will they do there? So far they have a nice aggression. At, uh, if they die Minister, they should be able to pick up, you know, with Love One Call Down, Maxa Rock Barrage. They should be able to pick up a bunch of kills. Spirit Breaker running through the map. The question is, is Spirit Breaker gonna be a, sub, uh, a core or offlaner? Or is it going to be a roaming support? I would like it more as an offlaner or roamer in this sense. That they need an extra support because they're going to get run over. They always get run over. And there's a problem. You need to make sure that your safe lane is strong. Protect that hero. Or protect another hero. But make sure it's always one person protected. As they're gonna go for Lina themselves, that's odd to pick against the TM mid because that's not uh, the best of li uh, matchups here. Yeah, we'll see what they would do. Brazier gets banned up now as well. They, they're they gonna take out what I think is for them to be assuming to be a, an offlaner. I don't think Lina will be support here. That's, I don't think that will work out. Their lane is too weak then. They need something else. Line is in a pool as control. Uh, yeah, that's that's the possibility, of course. Urcha got taken out. Shadow Demon to save. Winter Riven wasn't there as well. There's still a bunch of things. Yeah, Jakiro. Some control as well. It's nice lane presence as well. As Team Empire. Okay, I was wrong. They're gonna pick up the Witch Doctor here. They're gonna go for another hero for a lower dance this game. I think he just says, yeah, guys, I'm done with Rubik for today. Just give me something else. Let's pick up a Witch Doctor here. They do have uh, some kind, some ways to stop a Spirit Breaker running at them or use Nether Strike. Lina, of course, with LSA. Can't stop it, so. There are ways to stop this Witch Doctor from channeling his ultimate. That said, if you have a Doom, Bane, and Arch Soccer running through you and then a TA doing some damage as well, you, you try to get to the Witch Doctor here. But again, Team Empire, they, they have the late game with the Doom here. Just if you're able to just Doom up the Gyrocopter for now, you should be able to win it. Lina isn't that impressive anymore in late game. Uh, but the Aghanim still does about 850 damage, but after that it's kinda gone. TA is, uh, is an arrow that can pick up BKB if needed. Uh, same goes for Doom Nightstalker. You see BKB on him as well. Recently though, you see the Aghanims have to rush with a gem and then an, uh, another item. It's actually gonna go for the broad mother here. Okay, they did not expect that at all. This actually like they so they're gonna actually run Lina as a support or some or Smith as Spirit Breaker as a support. Okay, I'm gonna we're gonna see how this goes because broad mother is not something I would have expected here in this case. Dude and as well as Empire is actually not that well suited to stop this. I don't think they were expecting this here. So we'll see how this broad mother will uh, fare up against the side of Empire here. Is 4L able to show a little bit of strength here and maybe cause an upset? Well, we'll see it here in this match. It's Empire against 4L in the Frankfurt Major Open Qualifier on Face It. I'm uh, at Sander underscore Dota. And for Empire on the red inside, Reverse Illusion playing the Night Stalker again. We have a lower dance playing the Bane that leaves no fear on the Witch Doctor. Yoki on the TA. And silent on the doom again. And for the dire side here, trying to cause an upset, win this game, and get Empire out of the majors. It's 4L. We have Sergio Aguero, Aguero yeah, playing the Broad Mother. Phoenix, Phoenix GL, I guess, playing the Dazzle Little Mama. I'm gonna call him Little Mama. Playing the Spirit Breaker. We have Dogma playing the Gyrocopter, and Hit playing the Lina here. So Bob Mother is going down. Saw the Doom as well, so he's just gonna get out a uh, nice web here and look for the look for the rune here as ooh some aggression here. The die sees them all as well as Rain sees them. Oh no, that gas actually stopped the charge here. Oh, this is really really bad. They're not really able to contest it right now. Rocket Barrage come out, VP. Oh VP, no fear gets low. But not able to kill it. They lost the rune here on the top lane and the bot uh, went to the broad mother, so nice gold for her. I would say that Silence should be able to man up quite easily here with the Scorcher, but will still take a bunch of damage. It's not the easiest lane. Uh, yeah, so for Empire, pretty much just slaughtered the way through. There's not a whole <laughs> much to say about it, otherwise it's 
They've just been getting, just been destroying everybody. But yeah, at the moment, that uh, Foro has some nice points in their drafts. The Doom is Doom needs support now throughout the entire laning phase, because Rob Mother uh, does have some solo, uh, solo kill potential against him. So it's not going to be too easy now for them. And we're just going to wait. In the uh, last game, it also took uh, two or three minutes before Empire really starts to to get in some kills. They, they get their basic levels and then go for something so lower. Then it's just, it just eats that shadow uh, wave over there. Yeah, this is going to be a tough one, Yoki, so far. Get a good CS, 6-4 uh, to versus hit is 3-1. So. Already taking a bit of an advantage here. Well, on the safe lane, uh, the Gyrocopter hasn't really been able to get a lot of resolution. He's just showing dominance and getting these last hits. Snowfer is uh, getting the Broadmoder out for now. As he tried to place a ward. No fear still has one left as well. Silent just uh, doing silent things. Farming away, six so far, seven last hits. Two of them are Devour. He has a pack leader hour here, so that will help his CS quite a lot. As they're actually just using the Spirit Breaker at the moment to keep the lane up. He does have a point into his passive now, so he should be able to maybe go for a kill on Yoki here if they have some kind of detection. And they do have a sentry, so they might be able to go for it. Yoki is, is going an aggressive. Four trees. Is that a bottle? No, it's not. It's a. No talisman or a health pot. I think it was a no tally being delivered. Oh, Aloha Dance is in Invis here. Oh, gets a one poke, love poke here. Has a brain set ready as well. Nightmare, they're just gonna casually wait until it ends here. LSA gets down. Is it actually able to survive from this? Aloha Dance? Yoki is too slow. 305 versus 309. Oh, and the dodge comes out. Fairy Soul, 2 OP. Oh, they weren't expecting that one. The LSA just in time to, ki to save herself. First Blood has... Has still fallen though. Where? Who the hell killed who? Broadmother died? Okay, well. Two sentry wards already down on lane. Aguero has nothing to do against it, so. That explains that for now. Yeah, even if you get horribly stunned for playing against Pros, you know, it's still. You can say, like, as well, I played in the major. You know, even if it's the overqualifier, you still play it. And if you lose versus a pro, what's just shame in the end. As resolution, they're gonna have the charge coming in now. Rocket Barrage is hitting as well, but it's not, not doing a whole lot of damage right now. Level 1 still, with a nerf to it, is not enough to kill. This Phoenix took over the Nightmare here. Are they gonna turn this one around? And they just instantly cast the Shadow away. Uh, shadow Grave here. Well, they don't uh, pursue, sorry, pursue it any further. So I'm just going to the same build again. First, uh, getting face boost, and then most likely gonna go for a uh, for a flat. And Yoki is still showing dominance here. What the hell is this item here on the ground? No tally again. I uh, just doing some nice bottle uh, management here. Resolution is left alone here. Although Dance was back in the base, okay. Like, well, I had some spiders, but uh, at the moment, yeah, with the support that Doom has been having, I don't think he can kill him. Level 4 on both, level 4 on Broadmoor, yeah. The chance for her to dominate is completely gone once she died the first time. Now, finally, Knight has come. What will Resolution do now? This is like the first time he can go ham. He has 2 points into his Hunter, 2 points in Void. But sadly, he has no mana. He does have these 2 mangoes ready to dive if needed. He's with the two mangoes already and the new base regeneration. He has 4.9. This is a lot. Gets a tango in it. 12.1. Now it's uh, in tomorrow. He's just showing dominance here. Oh, what the hell? I have to my last hits. Okay, now it's back to normal. Sorry for that one. Let's Ooh, Yoki. Man, I should stop reading the chat in the side. It just that takes my entire <laughs> mind off the game. <laughs> it's also really, really slow. Can I maybe enhance that a bit? Yeah, okay. Uh, I enhance the chat now. I can, uh, so I'm able to read it a lot better now. And <laughs> maybe communicate a little bit better. Since I'm alone now, I will communicate a lot with the chat. I, I like to do that when I'm solo casting. Especially when we're just doing it for like 100 or so people. Just make it give us a nice, uh, nice feeling there. Uh. As at the moment, you can just see for L being outplayed in the in the farming game, silent. 
36, 34 on uh, on Yoki. Resolution also picking up a bunch of last hits and also there they just have way more denies. You should be able to see this come back in a net worth and an experience as you can see over there. As they're gonna go after little mama here, but there is already the backup of the death. So even if they get low, they're gonna be shallow grave. Shallow grave a little bit early. Maybe resolution is thinking now, oh, maybe I'll go in again, but uh, they seem to be going for dogma, but yeah, they're not they're unwilling to pop the uh, the mangoes to do it. Uh, we'll just leave him there. As actually the broad mother has also been gone on. They get a kill on him, now level 6 on Doom. So if he comes back, he might just instantly Doom him if they get a chance once he's underneath the sentry vision. They have something. Yeah, they're gonna get uh, some dust soon here on Nova. He's already purchased it. It's now already in the stash. Resolution so far hasn't really done a lot in the, in the fights. GD Division 4. It depends on who you play against, so... Division 4 is about 4.5k, right? So... I think you should be able to depend on the, the teams that you play against at least for two rounds. Okay, Dogma here. They're gonna go after him. Yeah, they just nightmare up the, the Dazzle so he can get off his Shadow Grave and they pick up the kill. Now, now they're gonna dive. Oh, Shadow Grave from Phoenix just in time. Now they have to dive straight underneath the tower. But he uses his Shadow Wave way too early and they are still able to easily pick up the skill. Oh, charge in? What? Okay, he, little mama says, "Oh no, I need to go back." But he was already too far in. They don't care. They dive. They go deep. They will get the kill again. Empire showing dominance six zero already. Well, Templar is also able to pick up the kill on the so on the Lina here solo. Silent right now. Okay, it might just be the rope magic. Okay, this is gonna be a drum first though. My bad on that one. I'm sorry. I took a miss call. He has actually purchased that item first the previous game as well over the uh, enemies. Yoki taking some damage. There is a Laguna blade ready, but the refraction is still up, so uh, no real kill potential here. Ooh, they're setting up for silent. Dazzle, Dazzle's nearly lingering around. Little Mamba come in. Oh yeah, there's his charge from Space Cup. But Sergio actually took a step back, and now they can't really do anything against him anymore. Too tanky as well. The Scorcher was not off cooldown, so there was a small chance there to do something, but you still have the risk of. Rotations, if they had any kind of TPs. I don't know, lower dance, but at least on the uh, on the TA as well as on resolution. Lil Mama has a DD. Maybe they're able to do something with. If they find a lower dance, they might just jump him. Lil Mama needs to look on him from the from the cliff up there. Oops, there we go. Oh, that's it up. There is coming coming the Dev Warf as well. Science is just gonna chase him down, give him a poke with his sword, and kill him up. Ooh, a lot of spiders here. Silence says yummy. And now they will read it off. Silence is still trying to get them with the Scorchers and is able to do so fairly effectively for now. As now mid, they're diving after a hit. They get the kill now. Resolution picking that one up. Oh, Lomano came in. That might have been a little bit of a mistake. Here. Base up comes out. They still have a fraction, so they're able to dive a little bit for the. Oh, should have grabbed just in time. No resolution. Has to fight up against two here on Leafy Tower. We'll take a step back because it's a little bit too much as a lower damage just casually walks in, kills him off. Oh no, actually, the four damage still. Popped him down. Now Phoenix. Gets off his shadow wave, but the melt strike from Yoki still kills him off 10 0 already at the 9 minute mark. Yeah, that's another 1500 gold going away. Look at this, it's, it's gonna close into the 10k gold and about 7.5k experience. Quick look at the vision here, I just wanna show off that I have something down here. Radiant vision for empires, it's not that big though, they just have this one ward up, it's gonna expire now as well. They have to refresh them, they have a lane ward here as well, freshly placed for silent to help them out. For the dire side, they have pretty much just mimicked it, they have a, a lane ward here as well as a ward down here to help the broadmother out. The broadmother is already really really far behind. <laughs> yeah. The first game was crazy, the rampage of a lower dance in the end was really, really fun. Yeah, the question is, what can 4L do now there? If you're about 1k gold a minute and experience a minute behind, the only thing you can do is just hold on and hope to get a good fight. And go from there. I said, just find Lil Mana now, they're gonna void him up, they're gonna get the straight up death ward, they just wanna down him instantly. They still, they don't have the fiend script yet though on a low dance, so he still needs to get to level 6. A silent is just perfectly fine farming up here, he's not even going for an uh, Midas or anything, he just farms it up. He's a spider here. Ooh, he tried to... Okay, he stopped his doom there, that would have been a really weird doom to use, I don't think he could have get a kill. 
Ooh, Loki is here. He's still a little bit low, but he should be able to have with refraction there. So, oh, there comes the... Oh, Fiend Scripts. Final level 6. Kill him off. There you go. Now, bottling up. Running back. Hit t did TP him, but isn't able to connect anything on anybody else. As so we're now going to go after Silent here, but they will stop the charge here. Realizing that it's a bit too much. One minute left, ladies and gentlemen. Will we see a resolution go ahead then? Yeah, he's just sitting up for, for fighting already. Look at this. He's just gonna go for fast agonims. This is nasty. Radiance middle tower is under attack. Yeah, they're not gonna get anything on mid. They probably just have to take a step back here. So they're gonna use the ultimate right now. There, there goes all the vision from uh, from the die side for L. Pretty much blind. Resolution just solo pushing in his lane here. Not scared of everything. Anything. They're not even rotating in. They're just farming up their own jungle. Like, this is not the play to be making right now. Look at the net worth. Silence. Really far ahead. He hasn't even rotated. He's just standing still in the lane, just farming his, his stuff up. He's gonna get... That's not as big, right? That's for Yoki, okay. He's gonna get his Flamiers delivered now. Yoki's gonna get his blink. So they're gonna start snowballing a bit more. Maybe grouping up now. Having his extra armor damage as well as... Uh, just... Yeah, it's just a flash. Everybody knows it anyway. It's just... This is gonna be hard to deal with. Clears are on top of it as well, plus 73 damage. It's so early, so much. Broadmother, he knows where he is. Oh no, the dust comes out. There comes the doom. Yeah, you're dead. You can't get anywhere. Even gets the crit. Maybe try to deny himself there with all of those spiderlings. But now the spiderlings will just get farmed with this scourge or earth doing damage. Le one left, and it will survive. The itty bitty spider is able to get out. 13 kills for Empire. Yeah, poor poor Kirby <laughs> there. He's just being overweight. You know, he has to keep on moving all the time. Give, give the poor Bunny a break. Give him a break. As they kill off another hero here. Phoenix now dies on the Dazzle. Uh, regeneration for Yoki was pretty low, so it's nice there. Gets completely healed up. As they're gonna go for the tier 1 hero mid. As, uh, this is already looking for a steep decline here. Oh, they're gonna go into science. He gets the tower. Are they able to actually kill him here? Oh, may oh, he didn't start with the LSA. He just threw out the Laguna. For now, Doom is able to regen up as his team is now also rotating in Empire. Oh, charge comes out. Yeah, there comes the dust. They need to back off now. They committed a lot to kill Silent here. And he's still alive as they're now gonna get counter killed. There we go. First one dead. Blink out from Yoki. Now they wanna go after Resolution, but it's still not. He is too fast. Oh, Dragon Slave did connect beautifully there. Yoki is just standing there. So just taunting the enemy saying come after me no fears here as well oh we see Sergio he, he's just gonna go for him throws down the death wharf as well as Yoke just coming in to help secure this skill now the itty bitty spiders are being farmed up again a little bit of a poor uh, micromanagement there it's already 16 kills in this is this is going out of control fast again green script on dogma but they're not following up they're just leaving it here resolution is not going in. They're gonna leave it now. They're afraid of the LSA hitting. Where is this fiend script there in the end? But yeah. Resuting, he still has a knife for him. Two more minutes about left. And yeah, they're just. They can play aggressive as pretty much as aggressive as the one. Look at this. One kick. But this is just disgusting. Gold per minute. Everybody is higher. It's. What are you gonna do now? Javis purchase. No more wards for you. No more broad scanning to do whatever the fuck he wants. There's a doom ready. The gem is now coming there in the, in the form of a no fear carrying it. They see Sergio. There we go. They just instantly go after him. They're not even going to pop the doom for him. They're just going to kill him as the ADBD spiders are going to get farmed up again. Yeah. They're just going to push down bot now. There's no real thing for them to stop. There's not no big team fight coming out for 4L to really show a rest for a... Their only big team fight in the end is a gyrocopter. It's not gonna work. Their high ground defense is also mediocre as Yoki actually picks up another kill here on the Lina. This is just so hard. So far, the road to the mages for Empire hasn't been paved with uh, anything <laughs> undealable. It's. They're just crushing them. Phoenix, that's all. Yeah, you're up in the front. You need to back off straight away. There we go. Now, Desolator also already completed. 
on the TA. This is. The tower push is gonna get real. Just need an AC pretty much, and then you can just push down whatever you want. It's gonna be the Sanjay for uh, for Doom, just tanking up a bit more. The Agonist is gonna be delivered to Resolution now as well. No fear. Uh, he's not gonna get this Agonist before the game is over. Let's see. Is, who is it Blink? I can't see it, read the name. Is that a lower dance? I guess. Who's it going to? Yeah, it's a lower dance. Okay. So they're just gonna convert into Rush now. It, uh, they have more enough minus. Uh, Armor coming out of the TA as well, just having that uh, live zoo from uh, from Silent World to help. The spiders come in, spiders get farmed. Well, they know that's going on, but they're not really able to stop it. They are close, but not close enough. Yeah, this observer split out straight away by Empire. They did smoke up for it, so now they're all smoked in the base, all hidden nicely, <laughs> but they're not able to do anything. For L is just stuck in a corner and not able to do anything. This brought an informed as hell 3.2k. 3.8k. Oh, yes, yes. My god, you have the cores from Empire have either double or triple the amount of farm over the course of 4L. Look at this, they don't even care that much about the positioning because this is really terribly positioned. No fear needs to be way more in the back. Yoki can be in the front. So I think it's okay, she could probably spread it out a bit more even. Just to make sure that the LSA can't catch out more than two. Or even one. Yeah, there are all LSA options here, but uh, hit goes early. He needs to wait a little bit with it. Just start off with the call down. Start off with the call down, get some slows and then go in. Or maybe go with Spirit Breaker rushing in. But it's way too obvious now. The call down is just gonna pretty much be whiffed as to just tank it all up. Therefore it comes out, they're not able to bring Silent down as he's just able to survive to it barely. Oh, now they're just all gonna get mopped up. This is three down already. I do have the game shit on, so I can see the GG this time around. As now Sergio is gonna get on to by a lower dance, and he will get some help from Yoki going a rampage. As a lower dance says, asshole was my kill. You go into the nightmare. Boo, boo, boo. He is gonna put off uh, <laughs> assists now. <laughs> This is, this is the second rampage in two games for Empire here. Aloha Dance is a little bit salty though. He, he got the first one and he wants another one. Uh, yeah, I believe next game after this is going to be the last one of today. Or this might actually be the last one. I will upload all the VODs on our uh, YouTube. YouTube slash uh, Swiss Dota community. Oh yeah. The, uh, spirit break. Just Leo Mama is a little bit to Leo here. And yeah, this is... Killing everybody. They might just dive to base here. Nightmare is coming up. Are they gonna give another rampage here? There's a triple kill. Are they gonna give it to Yoki this one? They need a little bit more. No, Yoki. J yeah, yo, Yoki, dive it, dive it, dive it, dive it. Yes, that's one kill. Come on, Ulta, Ulta, you need one more. Can you kill him, Sergio? No. Nightmare is here in time. Saving him. Force saving him out. He lives with about, what is it, 200 HP in the end. No fear. Yeah, they can't even go for him. Come on, go out of the base. Give the second rampage. That's what we're looking for. Did you buy something? Hmm, great sound. Yeah, they're just gonna end it now. What can I do? Don't we see a less raw here? Less raw from Empire, maybe. They're not gonna looking for some kills. They're just moving aggressively. Yogi, one shot! Money! Man, he, can just, he should just buy Crystic straight up nowhere. Uh, even a Dagon completed on the Doom here. No, yeah, they finished script up him. Yeah, they didn't even use finish script, they just poked him down there. Okay, that's kind of odd. Well, another kill. Nevertheless, Dogma now gets killed. Bouncing around here with the Death Warp. Upgraded with Aghanims? He actually got it before the end. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Well, the game is over. Empire, another win for them in the road to the Mages here. Empire is so far going good. Not having too much troubles uh, getting into the game. Zero deaths for the team, so... Perfect scores all around. Yoki is the one who really stood out here, having 15 kills. As, uh, well, this is all casted here by me, at sender underscore dota. Make sure to follow me there. All the VODs, as said before, will be put on youtube.com slash Swiss Dota community. Check the road to the major there for Team Empire. We're gonna now going to a break. Hope to see you guys all later for the next match. If it is there, I'm not sure.